Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about male submission and female dominance beyond kink. But also we discuss the psychology of kinks. And just as usual, today I'm going to speak about something quite interesting. Maybe you've noticed that red peel content has been quite popular. The men who bash women and other men who don't follow the same path. And also the men who call themselves alpha. Alpha male does this, alpha male doesn't do that. But what does that mean? Well, first of all, I think it's important to mention that all these alpha beta discussions are pretty redundant. It is based on the studies about wolves. And the guy forgot his name. He wrote a book where he talked about alpha wolves, beta wolves, but then years later he said, guys, stop buying my books, they are trash. Because the studies were based on wolves in captivity. And wolves in captivity do not act in the same way they would act in nature. And wolves in nature, yes, they have alpha wolves, and you know who they are? Parents. Parents. Yes, usually male and female. That's how parenting works in nature. Both of them are in charge because they take care of the whole pack. They provide and protect the whole pack. That's the definition of being an alpha. Why I'm talking about it, yeah? In dom-sub dynamics, there is often a play, again, humiliation play, when a submissive male is compared to other males. They are alpha and you are better. Why? Because he serves a woman. That's such a shame to serve a woman. Oh, because he will never be enough. Because he will never be like those men with big penises and all these muscles. Okay, yeah. That makes them an alpha. Obviously not. Obviously not, because if you look at all this, I don't want to call them community, but even if sometimes they are, they like to be in groups. Uh, I like observing them. Yeah, guys who listen to Andrew Tate or something similar. Yeah, like Alpha Bro podcast. Yeah, we laugh at them. But there are still lots of guys who go this direction. And especially, well, younger guys with no social circle who just spend their days online. And this is tough because they need some guidance. Because they need some role models. And in the world where every kind of masculinity becomes toxic masculinity i'm talking about for example the western world they would fall to the opposite yeah where toxic behavior is glorified where there is some battle where men fight women who disagree with them where men instead of well listening to women and what women actually want they listen to some gurus who probably know better, and if you disagree, you, you're going to be shamed, you're going to be bashed for that. And they like to call themselves alpha. Alpha men go to the gym, become buff, get tattoos, wear nice clothes, get veneers, yeah, decorate themselves, just like male birds, you know, to attract females. As you might think, but they don't attract females, they attract other males and they want to impress other men. They take selfies, they post selfies nonstop and they think that they are very masculine. Well, it's not about selfies, that's the combination of factors. You look at them and you think what? That's the definition of masculinity? I find this man pretty feminine because they are mostly in their receiving mode. They are not the type of men you would rely on as a woman because their dominance is based on entitlement, purely entitlement. They don't give anything to you. They are more of a trophy boyfriend. So you show up with them in public. They show up with you in public. You feed each other's ego. 
That's the concept of modern alpha male. Look good, do nothing for her. Require submission and respect from a woman. And as I said, the definition of anyone alpha, even if I don't really like this alpha beta theories, yeah, like I don't like using them, because this is not really how it works. But if I want to speak to people, yeah, who believe in that, I'm going to use their definitions. Simply because this is how our mind works. For example, when I say a real man does this, a real man doesn't do this. Well, a real man is just an adult human male. That's a real man. That's it. But then when we use these definitions, we speak their own language. And that's fine. As soon as it targets the point in someone's brain, that's fine. Because there are lots of, lots of words that everyone understands differently because the meaning of it is vague, it's super generalized. And we base our understanding on our own reality picture. And this is very useful when you want to manipulate someone. Yeah, this is one of the basis of neuro-linguistic programming. Yeah, how to use a language properly. I'm not teaching you manipulations, but still, it is useful, yeah, for speakers when you try to sell something, you use a word and they, like people who listen to you, they are, the word is like a template. It's just a shape, but people are going to fill it in with, with their own meaning. So here is the same. I'm going to use the same definitions, filling them with my own meaning. On the one hand, I prefer words to have strict meanings, but this is not how it works, unfortunately. So getting back to the definition of alpha. Alpha is someone who provides and protects. Being an alpha is having responsibilities before privileges. What are, why would someone give you privileges to control their life, to have their submission, if you are not responsible for them. And from this point of view, we might see that there are some alpha male yeah, who take care of their females and require their submission. And if we don't speak about the kink world, it's fair, it makes sense. Not the requirement part, yeah, but there are lots of women who are traditional and who see submission as trust and when you follow the lead and when you are behind someone, like behind the wall. And for them it is important. And for this type of relationship, this submission can't be forced. You can't require it. You can't demand it as a man. You see how the word submission can be played with? Because you can define it in different ways, yeah? When I talk about these things, I don't really like using the word submission, yeah, that comes from a man. I prefer to say devotion or even worship, worshiping, or just I call it a man, or just like a gentleman, or like a chivalrous gentleman. Someone, someone you can trust, someone you can rely on. But this is because submission is a spectrum, okay? And we would call someone submissive in a kinky spectrum, in a kinky meaning, yes, yeah, someone who has these fetishes that fall into the category of submission. And often, as I already said many times, these fetishes have nothing to do with pleasure in a woman or being devoted to her. That's more about being under someone's control, about being inferior, about being humiliated, degraded, and pooped on. But there is another definition of submission, yeah? The, the type of man who other men call a simp. And usually these are men without any fetishes. It's not hard to get this label from alpha bros. You just have to put woman's pleasure first. And I'm not just talking about sexual pleasure, yeah? Like on a daily basis, you want your woman happy, you want your woman relaxed, you want your woman to smile. You do that, you're a simp.
So who do they call a simp? Anyone can become a simp. I even saw that Andrew Tate was like making excuses, you know, no, 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 I do this, I do that for her, but I'm, I'm not a simp. Don't make this mistake. I'm not a simp. So this is so scary to be called a simp, yeah? Simply because you do things that make both of you happy, but somehow you have to pretend like you... So you see, like, men are strange creatures. They find a woman's joy and a woman's comfort motivational. And this is, like, ultimately what most men crave. But they are too ashamed to put it first. They are too ashamed to admit that this is the goal. And this is funny. But they still try to get it. Yeah, but in some indirect ways. Okay, I'm gonna force you to do this. If you don't do this, we're gonna shame you. Smile. And of course, when I say that, a submissive man is more of an alpha than someone who claims he is. I don't mean fetishists. No, this is a category of men who just want to get their pleasure. They're no different from other men who get their sexual sexual needs satisfied it, they are no different from them even if it seems like they're in a lower position there's no difference men who just watch who consume different content online they they just have different preferences that's a range of preferences there is nothing submissive about this man that's exactly the reason why i don't really like using the word submissive because I don't mean someone kinky, even if those men who I'm talking about, they often have kinks and they are usually connected with worshiping a woman, worshiping her body, doing things for her, doing chores for her, yeah, stuff like that. You don't have to agree with me. That's the beauty of the freedom of speech, the diversity of opinions, yeah, because I know that not even, not even submissive men always agree with me. Sometimes we just don't align simply because they don't see submission the way I see it. And excuse me, but I don't think that a submissive man is some kind of gooner, loser, pathetic person. To me, a submissive man is someone who would do anything for me because he worships me, because he knows me. He knows what to expect from me. He knows that I'm good for him, hence he has trust. Trust is essential, yeah, from both sides. But a submissive man, I constantly make this comparison, a submissive man is a knight to his queen. A submissive man is like a guardian dog that would kill anyone who tries to attack you. A submissive man is service-oriented. He does things for you. He expresses his devotion through actions, not through whining that you have to do things to him. Obviously, when we speak about kings, submission can be expressed in different ways, yeah? And I'm mostly talking about like non-king submission and submission from the masculine. And then when I discuss submission from the masculine, yeah, beyond kink, and when I take the definition of an alpha male, both would be service leaders. You can't be an alpha without serving. Being an alpha is ultimate service. And this is where these two definitions merge. And I often say that what's important in, in a man for me yeah, and in a submissive man or in like high quality man, these are three P, provide, protect and please. And not every alpha male, yeah, let's imagine that there is like some kind of alpha male. Not every alpha male is a pleaser, but provide and protect, that's essential. And if you, um, I know that lots of men don't like my comparison, knight and queen. And I'm not talking about submissive men, yeah? Like men who just still watch my content. They disagree with this, yeah? Uh, queen and knight, queen and slave. 
I don't want to be below. But do you think that a king wouldn't protect his queen? Oh, you might say that for that, he would expect her submission. Or that a woman is more inferior, yeah, because he is stronger. Obviously, most men are physically stronger than most women. And I don't think that female dominance is about mimicking male dominance, trying to seem physically stronger. I'm talking about it, yeah, but I actually like this, like, wrestling play, yeah, like anything where a woman takes physical advantage, and I like female, not fighters, what are they called? Wrestlers who do jiu-jitsu, and I, I find jiu-jitsu, like, really, really sexual, and I think that's, this is why men go for this practices, yeah, you can touch and sniff other men without being called gay. But overall, when we see that, okay, a woman is physically weaker, do we see it as like a sign that she's supposed to submit? But then it's like, if I have a bodyguard, do I have to submit to a bodyguard because he, he protects me? Does it mean that he's more valuable than me or that he's an alpha? If I have a dog on a leash, not my dog, yeah, you remember my dog, my dog probably, <clears throat> which is hide behind me. My dog barks and she is vicious and she tries to protect me, but let's be fair, two and a half kilograms wouldn't do much. But imagine like that I have a big dog, a some kind of Dorbyman or a pit bull, and then my dog protects me. Do I submit to my dog? <gasps> oh, that's a bad comparison, of course, because I'm comparing animals to men. There is nothing wrong about making comparisons of humans to <clears throat> animals. Yeah, if you look at insect kingdom, for example, bees, all bees provide and protect the queen bee. She's at the center. They bring food, they bring resources for her. Because she is more valuable. Well, at the same time, I wouldn't say that she's more valuable. That's symbiotic, they work together, that's a team. Just like men and a woman, they are a team, yeah? You work, I have pleasure. Well, they do it, and a king protects his queen. And all these other examples, yeah, because they realize woman's value. Let's admit that these are women who bring life to this world. Men built everything and we give birth to everyone. Give birth to every man. Fed every man. Raised every man. The woman is the source. A self-aware woman who knows herself well is divine. She has this connection with the divine with the goddess, she is a goddess herself. Such position does not come from entitlement, does not come from arrogance. It comes from realizing your own power. Okay, but this video is not really about women. Anyway, the main point is that submissive men are more alpha males than those who claim they are. That's it. And I wanted to add that like those submissive men who are submissive from the masculine, yeah, but at the same time, some sissy in a dress who's service-oriented is more alpha male than some gym bro. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't go to the gym. I actually tell all subs to go to the gym. Do some kind of sports. Yeah, you have to take care of your body. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. The information in the description box. Also, I'm going to attach the link to my throne account and you can send me gifts to show me your appreciation. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.